today's name is King of Kings. Man, this is so good, King of Kings. I mean, you guys have heard of kings, right? Like, you know, kings rule and reign in a monarchy and, and you know, they have the highest authority in the land. Here we have a president, but, but let's just think about kingdom. You know, a king manages, he runs, he rules and reigns over his kingdom. And Jesus' kingdom is us. We are the kingdom of God and all of his people and in all he, you know, we've learned before that he's in everything, right? We read that scripture and he rules and reigns over everything and everyone. The Bible says that, you know, when he came to earth, it said the government shall be upon his shoulders. And multiple, multiple times in Revelation, it t- t- talks about Jesus being the king of the earth, the king of all kings. In fact, it said, John said when he saw him, he had the, the words king of kings and lord of lords written on his thigh. Man, if that doesn't give you goosebumps, I don't know what will. And I want you to remember that no matter what happens in our lives, no matter what we go through, no matter what things look like, especially right now, He is still on the throne. He is still ruling and reigning from heaven and He has all the authority. And I want you to know that. And I want you to think about tonight, this is your activity. I want you to think about a king. And kids and parents and both, I want you to participate and talk about what, in fact, make a list about what a king has the authority to do. What does he do? What are the king's duties? What are the king's jobs? You know, and I want you to go through that. And as you're discussing that, as you're talking about that, turn that as to how Jesus rules and reigns over the kingdoms and the kings of all the earth. So guys, we'll see you again tomorrow.